In this video, I'm going to talk about how I personally think that extending on the first floor of CAFE is the best strategic choice for a defense to make. And so I point you to this round from Chaos, where they've taken onto the second floor, they've cleared the third floor extremely quickly, they're opening up vertically, but it doesn't matter because all the defenders are not on site. And so the vertical influence that the attackers are creating aren't netting any picks. And Chaos also is trying to pick these vertical holes they're creating while not watching any of the flanks. So quickly take a note that Jaeger and Valkyrie are in prep, that while Mai is in Lecker with Mozzie, and then on the east side, we actually have the smoke. Let's jump over to the map view now. In order to talk about cafe basement, we need to talk about clubhouse basement and what makes this site kind of difficult to defend. In a lot of cases, it's known in the competitive community that if you aren't able to defend the kitchen hatch from being opened, then you've probably lost the round. And this is primarily because the attackers can create vertical play everywhere here to ensure that they open up the kitchen hatch. They can then drop the kitchen hatch and then defensively, you're really isolated to only a few safe spots, depending on whether or not a player blue is able to push uh, those locations. Also, I mean, dirt is moderately influential, but we see less and less of attackers pushing through dirt. Most of the time it comes down to a hero play through blue and then also the importance of opening up the kitchen hatch. So let's look at cafe. In comparison, we have the freezer hatch, which doesn't open up into anything. Not only that, there are no other hatches that exist that influence any of these areas, which are all free of vertical pressure. That makes a strategy which focuses primarily on holding extended and avoiding vertical pressure all the more stronger against teams who are focusing on a top-down take. Basically, the counter to a team who wants to open up all of sight vertically is to not play inside of sight and then to provide all of your quote, quote roamers rotates in and out of sight to retake appropriately. You are probably already familiar with how difficult it can be to take into bakery if there is a Wamai and a Jaeger behind the stand and inside prep. Uh, and this is then coupled with the fact that the attackers are taking above, trying to clear top down, which typically requires a five man effort. And then at some point, they actually need to show horizontal pressure and move into the building on the first floor level. Well, in order to get into bakery, it just requires way too much time to clear and to open up everything that's needed to get these players out of bakery. So a lot of teams, what they're forced into doing when they do a vertical top-down take is they go into uh, the white stairs and try to take inside the freezer, open up the freezer hatch. The difficulty with opening up the freezer hatch though and trying to plant on this side of the bomb site is freezer, in my opinion, is a kill box. There are only two exits. One is a vault prompt, which is not favorable. And then the other is a door, which can be held from the other side of the site by the defenders, if you hold that way. Now, let's talk about the strat in specific, again, adapted from Virtus Pro. What they used is in conjunction with the standard bakery hole that you'll see. They also had a smoke holding down the east side. And so this smoke can gas freezer, making what I already think is a kill box even more of a kill box and delay, delay, delay. The big thing here too, is that they had two roamers in this case for them, it was Mazi and Omai who were over on the liquor side, which could support smoke. So where does this leave us? Well, I think one of the core concepts about creating vertical pressure is it needs to be supplemented with horizontal pressure. And a lot of teams simply don't have the manpower to do that on a cafe attack when attacking the basement. Again, the reason is quite simple. The reason why you go vertically is typically to clear utility, try to get picks. But if the defenders are extending horizontally, that means that they're holding all of this map control. And so that means like what entry points do you really have in order to get that preliminary foot in? Uh, you're basically relegated to in the freest sense to reception, which is not free by any means. There's a door and a vault prompt again, which are supported by smoke, echo, and also dock in my setup. Or 
you can go white hallway, but what are you gaining by doing this? Basically, you're stepping into a kill box. By using this kind of extend strategy, which also features this crazy line of sight for dock inside a coat, which makes baker, pushing bakery even more difficult. Uh, but by using this kind of extend strategy, you avoid the default take, really the, the only way that attackers have a way to get any picks early through verticality. And you force the attack to try to funnel in through one of these terrible options and just brute force their way into one of the openings that you created. The, the other thing too that's um, so cool about these kind of retake strategies that are becoming more and more popular with CAFE is if you lose the smoke here, even if you lose the smoke, it doesn't really matter because he's in a spot that's not on site. And the retake potential that you have as defenders is quite high given the rotates that you've created. So just something maybe to explore in your ranked games or look for in pro league uh, VODs. Looking forward to seeing more setups and we'll see if the pro league meta catches up to my thinking on how CAFE should be played.